everybody, how's it going? I wanted to jump on here real quick and tell you about something that you may or may not be aware of on Sephora's website, and it's related to storage, makeup storage. I had no idea until I kind of started digging through that they had some really cool and surprisingly affordable, like clear storage options. This thing that I have is kind of a two-piece set and I got it for $40. Now $40 for what I was expecting it to be, granted I didn't like get out my tape measure and like really study the dimensions they were giving, but I just thought it was going to be smaller. It arrived and it was really a lot bigger than I was expecting and I was reading through some of the reviews on there too after getting it and a lot of other people were kind of shocked as well that for $40 this is a lot of storage. It holds a lot of makeup. It's kind of like a two-drawer thing and then in a separate piece you have what can sit on top which has a couple of smaller drawers and a lot of different compartments where things can stand up. And I gotta say I was really really impressed with how it arrived because when I placed my order I had also ordered some other items from Sephora at the time and this came in its own separate box uh, like a double boxed and there was like just extra material all around it, protective styrofoam, everything. It was like there was no way this stuff was going to crack and in the past I'd got like a clear storage thing from Ulta, like acrylic storage. And the first time I got that, it was definitely cracked because there wasn't any protection for it really. So Sephora definitely knew what they were doing as far as shipping it. I was very impressed. And then just to get it home, see the size, see how much I could put in it. Um, it's really been great. And also, you know, in this room, I've got makeup everywhere. So this, for some people, may be what houses your entire collection. For me, I'll point out sort of what I'm using it for. I've got got my skincare in it, I've got some little accessories and tools, and then I'm using the bottom two drawers for a couple of different purposes. Um, one, I like to keep track of my favorite items, like month to month, I like to sit those things aside, and in the past I just had a basket out here on my table that was taking up, you know, valuable space, and I'd fill that up, but here I have a nice sized drawer to do that, and then the second drawer I'm using for sort of shop my stash slash new things, just keeping it all kind of handy. The stuff I want to be trying or retrying if it was a shop my stash thing. But those are both drawers that I see myself refreshing on a monthly basis. And that again was a situation where I had a separate basket sitting out here and it just caused my desk to get cluttered up really quickly because things inevitably would be kind of outside the basket, outside the little tray. And one thing leads to another and you just got a lot of stuff. So I want to show you, give you a little tour of how I've set it up. But again, it looks kind of like one thing, but it is two separate pieces. Alrighty guys, so this piece right here, it starts here and goes to the end. Um, this is what we're working with here from Sephora. And again, I was so shocked by the size. We've got two big drawers here on the bottom. They pull all the way out. That is also a nice thing that they can come completely out and you can use them sort of as a tray anywhere where you're doing your makeup. But in this bottom one, this is where I've put some new things I wanna try or maybe some older things that I've sort of noticed throughout my collection that I wanna give some more attention to. But I feel like it is ample space. I've got even more back in here. But it's really the best of both worlds because you have that visibility with this whole thing being clear, but you also have the containment. So that really really helps me out because I'm very visual and if I see it, I'll think to use it. Then in the drawer above that, I'm kind of keeping track of some favorite items, just some things I'm really enjoying right now, things that may be candidates for an upcoming favorites video. Again, I would normally set that stuff aside in a little basket or something, but it's really nice to just have that here and I can switch it out month to month. And then this piece on top, it's totally separate. It sits right down nice and secure. And this is just a series of different compartments. Now, one thing I will point out over here, they they have a little like Kleenex box top. It looks like this and for a standard size like Kleenex box, at least here in the US, this is too small. It doesn't really fit your average Kleenex box, be it a square one or a rectangle. It's just kind of in between. So I just decided to take that off and instead use this kind of open and some of my stuff comes up a little higher, but my larger skincare items are there. So face creams and some things with pumps. Here on top I've got um, some 
some eye creams, a nice little space for sponges here. I've got my light like really, really close, so some of this comes right up under. Some um, SPF products and a lip balm. Here I've got face serums, uh, primer serums. Showing you at another angle now so you can see it all, but back behind there, there's this whole open kind of skinny section where um, I've got some face oils and stuff like that. But bird's eye view here overall on top, you've got one really big open section, two, three, four, five, six different compartments. And then here we have two pull-out drawers and they will come all the way out. And I've got one just with different tools, little scissors, my tweezers, um, stuff like that, little false eyelash tools. And then in this other one, I've got lip stuff, so lip brushes, um, lip color removers, a little lip exfoliator type tool. But just for these items, I feel like it really holds a lot if we're thinking about a full makeup collection. I could see that working for this too. You've got these flat sections and then you've got plenty of room to stand things up. Um, if you're wondering what's over here beside it, I've shown this before, but this is um, the thing that I got from Ulta. This is a bit more fragile. It doesn't even feel as sturdy. I've already got like little cracks here and crack up here, um, but I'm using it for lip balms and lip treatments and also all my bare minerals stuff down there in the bottom. And this was the tray that I used to use for my little like kind of shop my stash slash stuff I want to make sure I use. And I've still got a few things here that I just really wanted to stand up, but didn't necessarily have the room to stand up over here. Granted, that stuff could fit in there laying flat, but I still had this little um, three compartment thing that goes back that way. So I've got a few little palettes and then I've got a section for dud products in the backpack. But I've really come to realize there's a nice advantage to clear storage, especially just if you've got a lot of makeup, if you tend to forget about things that you have, um, it's nice to really be able to see it at a glance, but yet you still have the containment and I was just impressed with the size here, how much you get for the money, how much it can actually store. And really, if you're ordering stuff like this online, um, the shipping and safety of the product is everything. And I thought Sephora did a really good job with that. So thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments section or any other experiences you've had with other kinds of um, storage systems. Let me know. Might be helpful to everyone here, but um, thanks again and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.